come to the next presentation which is by Shri Umesh Palampuri, Business Development Manager, Dynalog India Limited. He is a highly motivated and results-driven business development manager at Dynalog India Limited, bringing over 13 years of invaluable experience to the table. And he spearheads the entire oil and gas vertical and smart infrastructure initiatives for Dynalog while also managing the business operations in the Gujarat region. And today he's going to present on next gen EN 50155 onboard networking and computing solutions. So let's welcome Sri Umesh Palanpuri. So very good afternoon to all. And thank you, Madam, for the kind introduction. So I will be briefing about the our company and offering into the railway domain. So we Dynalog India Limited 40 year old company into the electronics domain or we can say electronics is our DNA. We have a launch or produce the first microprocessor and controller based training kit for the engineering colleges and that's the reason we are the strong brand value across the engineers as most of the engineers are trained in our developed microprocessor and uh, base trainer kits. Later on early 90s we entered into the defense electronics space doing the reverse engineering for the Indian defense requirement and providing the computing and data equations products to the Indian defense market. Later on we enter into the industrial automations market. We are serving the different industries, railway, oil and gas, power, factory automations and marine as a industries. So from last 40 years, we have served more than 10,000 unique customer base across the different different industries as mentioned initially. And later on, as we are growing, we move to a 15,000 square feet headquarter in, in Mumbai. Currently, so currently more than 10 million uh, products being sold across the different different industries for the IIoT kind of the applications and into the process industries as well as the transportation industries. Now moving forward, uh, we now recently moved to the bigger space for the as more and more boosting happening for the Make in India initiative and willing to that we are moved for the bigger production facility at Pune around 33,000 square feet area. Currently we are as an employee strength we are 130 plus employee and we are currently got investment from the IDBI company as to boosting our localizations basically that is under the Make in India initiative for the more and more defense uh, projects to cater the needs of Indian defense markets for naval, airborne and na land applications. So we are the ISO 9001 certified company as well as AS9100D which is the defense standard the company who are into the defense electronic space have to be these certificates. So these are the currently uh, manufacturing and testing facility we have at Mumbai and Pune. So we have certified and trained engineers from the industries who are taking care of the assemblies, assemblies and testing of the our products. And since we are the uh, taking care of the mission critical applications as we are serving the industries I mentioned, railway, oil and gas, power, transportation, these are the and defense are the mission critical applications where service is a key part. So we are maintaining, we have in-house uh, certified trained technical support teams. We keep the spare at our warehouse to instant service to the our customers. So these are the currently we are present. So our headquarter is into the Mumbai and Pune. We have a bigger factory and presence across the metro city, Ahmedabad, Delhi, Hyderabad, Bangalore, where so as I earlier mentioned, we have more than 10,000 customer, happy customer I can say, act from the across the different different industries, oil and gas, power, manufacturing, smart infrastructure, all are the leading OEM or MSIs can be part of our portfolio. And these are the industry specific solution as every industry has their own standards. So we have every industry certified products that can be cater the need of that particular industries. For railway, we have EN50155, EN50121-4, and EN45455 certified products. 
for power we have ic 6150 certified products for highway transportations we have nima ts2 and for marine we have dnv gl certified offering so these are the some indigenous products developed by the us to cater the different industries needs so start from the ethernet based uh, infrastructure that is ethernet switches ragada is io didio ai analog input analog output relays and 4g 5g routers for the communications and we are also making the regularized displays and consoles for the railway as well as in defense electronic space we are already making the consoles and hmis also we have on board regularized nvr and fanless computer to be used for the cctv surveillance application afc and electronic interlocking so this is about the en5015 onboard networking computing we are offering onboard ethernet net, uh, networks that we can ethernet consist network basically on ic61375 certified as well as en5015 certified so we are offering the backbone network for the railway then train to ground communication that is 4g 5g or 4g and 5g based as well as wired network with wired network also offering track side so wayside communications on wireless network for the cbtc kind of the applications and for cctv and pis uh, applications we have on board nvrs so we have a ethernet infrastructure network is available with us and having the space constraints into the coaches uh, the our designs are very small in factor and having poe non poe options layer 3 layer 2 and unmanaged gigabit poe ethernet switches starting from 1g 2.5g and 10g gigabit ethernet for the backbone it supports the copper as well as fiber as i mentioned earlier so we have 10g gigabit uplink managed ethernet switches su supporting the tttp this is a trend topology discovery protocol so whenever the new devices or any devices ip based devices get connected it automatically identify where it is connected and can be shown on the network management platform for that 10g is the for the ethernet backbone and 2.5g gigabit ethernet switches as nowadays ip based demand is increasing most of the sensors are getting on ip so we have factor in the rack mount factor as well as din rail and wall mount kind of the factor switches are available and it's our poe so we, one of the key feature of the poe switches we have a persistent poe so even even though if it is your switches in booting it will make sure that pd device getting continuous power so the data data can be viewed and control at uh, control room now many switches generation so we have a software bed upgradation technology with us now and it's supporting os3 os2 os4 and os5 now os5 is under upgradation and sooner it will get the cyber security certified since yesterday we are talking about the safety and security into the railway market so because ethernet technology is a backbone of the entire network it has to be a secure enough so our sooner our os5 platform will getting ic62443-4-2 certified for the most of the our products we have our switches can deliver up to 60 and 90 watt poe as high poe demand for the cctv cameras so as i earlier mentioned we are getting our products we keep on upgrading so uh, supports the hardware rnet and ttdp as i mentioned for the trend topology discovery and ic61375 dash 2 uh, dash 5 dash 3 dash 4 certified product for the ecn and tcn network and 10g backbone to cater the high volume video and audio data across the network so these are the some of the security features of the our uh, switches we support the D ddos dos and ddos morning session sir is talk about the vulnerability and uh, ot security uh, point the so same we have Uh, ready made solutions available with available with us our products are supporting radius tuckers mac based access control list ip based access control and dynamic arc and source dynamic arc inspection ip source guard and port security 
So, apart from the networking, we have a computing platform also readily available with us, starting from the multi-van computer, basically that will be morely used for the train to ground combinations. So it supports the 4G and 5G based technology. So when once train parks at the depot, that video data need to be uploaded to the station. So that can be happen through wireless and while train is moving, it can be done for the 4G or 5G technology, basically. Then we have a driver displays with us and HMIs as well as NVR computers that onboard NVR as well as our fanless computer used for the AFC kind of the application as well as electronic interlocking. So these are the some products we have which is used for the on the coach or we can say rolling stock application so that is for CCTV kind of the monitoring and we can have a, some kind of the video analytics nowadays it's kind of the popular that everything uh, has to be, we can say, detect any activity. So that for that we have onboard uh, equipment and our range is operating temperature range of the our products minus 40 to 75 degree. And as I mentioned, EN 455-45 certified. So that is we can say it's a fire standards for the industries. As also I previously stated that now to look after the security, we have a OT uh, firewall secure, uh, products are available again with m connectors and standard following the railway and minus 40 to 75 degree in temperature as well as it's a redundancy in terms of the power and network and we have a, our power operating range is minus, uh, sorry, 24 volt to 110 volt VDC is a and for the preventive uh, uh, maintenance. So, again, we have a data collection unit which is uh, EN550 and again 35 minus 40 to 75 degree kind of the temperature. So, that also we can uh, call as a train collision kind of the systems. Surveillance security, as I previously mentioned, we have uh, M12 uh, NVRs, we have onboard NVR, and it is a expansion and hot swappable hard drive option is available. So whenever any incident happens and, and police or any kind of the agency needs the data that can be directly pull out the hard disk and the new hard disk can be in place. So that could be advantages of the hot swappable hard drive.